Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and today we have a very very special topic for the Miss Universe pageant because today we are going to give honor and recognition to the ladies who are the drought breakers of their country because today we are going to talk about the top 10 drought breakers which means these are the ladies that broke a very long year of non-placement for their country and we really need to give recognition to them as well because it's such a historic moment for them and for their country but let me just say that when it comes to the years the the, the year the length is what we will be counting and we will not be excluding the years that they did not compete so many will be asking it's supposed to be 30 years why are you only counting 27 years because probably there are th there are three years in there where they did not compete so again we will be only counting the years where they did not compete up to the year that they got that placement and whoever that lady is that broke that trap so let's begin starting with our number 10 Magali Romitelli from Argentina. She placed in 2006 and their last placement was in 1979, finishing in the top 12, breaking their 22 years long drought. So amazing. Magali Romitelli was actually one of the cutest representatives in 2006 and I still remember her very teen-ish facial features, but she was amazing. Number nine, Poland, Marcelina Zawadzka, who plays in Miss Universe 2012, top 16. Their last placement was in 1989 with Joanna Gapinska, who finished as third runner-up. Their years of drought, 22 years. But many will be asking here is, why is she above Magali Lumitelli? Because if for any reason that both ladies broke the same length of year i will ranking those who placed recently than the other that is why poland's marcelina savajka is at number nine and she was also a surprise to me i did not expect that she will place even she was surprised when she was called in miss universe 2012. number eight ecuador lucia isabel vinueza orgeles i mean this is not a familiar name to me as well but she placed in the top 12 of Miss Universe 1981. They have not placed since their debut in 1955. I mean, that's amazing. Breaking the 23 years of drought. So, wow. First placement after 23 years. Number 7, Bolivia. Rosario Rico del Toro Pilar, she competed in Miss Universe 1990 and placed in the top 6. Their last placement was in 1964 with Olga Monica del Cap Carpio Oropesa who finished in the top 15, breaking the, the 25 years of drought. I mean, that was amazing. Number 6, very familiar, Miss Guatemala Jessica Schell who placed in the top 10 of Miss Universe 2010. Their last placement was in 1984 with Ilma Julieta Orotilla who also finished in the top 10. Jessica broke their 25 years of drought. I mean, I, I was very, 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 very happy when Jessica Shell get that placement. I mean, who would ever forget that unique raised eyebrows every time she performs on stage? I really love that. That actually made that's actually her signature move. And to be honest, I was also surprised when she plays, but that was a positive surprise and a deserving placement. Number five, Denmark. Bettina Faorbi. She competed in Miss Universe 2006 and placed in the top 20. Their last placement was in 1967 with Margaret Ryan Knudsen who finished in the top 15. She broke their 29 years of drought and I still remember 2006. She was also one of the good ones. I mean not really that. I mean she didn't really, she's not really giving me a what they call this, a front runner vibe but she was good. She was good in the top 20. My number four, I mean the number four, not really mine, but overall. Number four is Turkey. Julie De Ates. She 
competed in Miss Universe 1990 and placed in the top 10. Their last placement, 1953, with Aiten Icon who finished in the top 10. And she broke their 30 years of drought. I mean, that was amazing. Three decades of drought. Number three, Portugal. Laura Goncalves, she placed top 10 in Miss Universe 2011 and their last placement I mean they didn't they, they don't have any placement at all because since their debut in the 1960s it was all followed by non-placement not until 2011 and she broke 30 years of drought as well and to be honest Portugal's placement in 2011 was a bit of a surprise to me. I really did not expect her to place, especially with the voting that Shakna shocked me as well, knowing that there are many voting powerhouses like Thailand, India, but Portugal got it. What a surprise to many of us. But, but we're happy still. As I said, I'm really happy seeing ladies and seeing countries that hasn't placed for a long time. It's a breath of fresh air. Number two, Sri Lanka. Christina Paris. She competed in Miss Universe 2017 and placed in the top 16. Their last placement, 1955. And it was with Maureen Elia Hinger to finish the second runner-up. She broke 43 years of drought. Wow, that's almost five decades. And we were happy as well when she placed in 2017. Another surprising placement, but she was good. I still remember when she talked about her cat that resembles someone from How the Trainer Dragon. What a weird topic to talk about, but I'm okay. I was happy with her placing. And the number one drought breaker of all time for Miss Universe is Costa Rica. Nancy Soto, she competed in Miss Universe 2004 and she finished in the top 10. Their last placement was in 1954 with Marianne Esquivel who finished in the top 10. Top 15, she broke their 48 years of drought. I mean, that is an amazing achievement. I mean, their country needs to give Nancy Soto a huge reward because that is such an excellent, excellent achievement. Although recently Costa Rica has been doing very well. They got a lot of placements in the last decade, but that one was a tremendous achievement. I mean, I don't see anyone. I mean, it could take some more years, for us to see someone break that but it was just amazing and I still remember in 2004 when Nancy competed she was beautiful and she deserved her top 10 placement I loved her beauty loved her performance and loved her gown as well that time and we remember 2004 the host country was Ecuador and Susana Rivadeneira who represented Ecuador in 2004 is not here on the list I think she ranked 11 also broke a long year of drought for Ecuador. So that's it. These are the top 10 drought breakers. And who surprised you in some, who among these top 10 surprised you the most? So don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of these videos in the future. For now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.